I woke up this morning to see this video online, I guess happened yesterday over in Texas. A father locked his kid in the car and busted the windshield to get the kid out. And as a firefighter, I have gotten many, many kids out of locked cars. And let me tell you, there are so many things wrong with this video. So I'm going to go over some things I saw wrong in this video, share it with you. Don't go around busting windows. Don't, you know, if you get hurt busting through a window, don't blame me. But if you're in a situation like that where you need to get your kid out of a hot car, I, I think that some advice, because there's so many things wrong with this video. Okay, first off, as a firefighter, I've gotten called over my 20 year career, many, many times I've gotten kids out of the car. In general, the rule of thumb is, if the kid is in the car, it's locked and it's hot, we bust a window. We don't try to open the car. I have also many times opened a car without busting a window. So lots of times people will lock their kids in the car with the keys because the car is running. If the kid's in the car and the air conditioning's running, we have time, we can try opening the car because the kid's not in distress. It's not hot, it's in an air conditioned car. But, if you're going to bust a window, you bust a window, not a windshield. The windshield is designed not to shatter. That's why when you're watching this video, the guy's hitting it and it's like, it's all sticking together. You never bust the windshield. You bust a window on the side, okay? Now, if there's a kid in the car and you need to bust a window to get the kid out, you pick the window furthest away from the kid because you don't want to get glass on the kid. So if the kid's in the back seat over there, I'm going to come to this window. If the kid's in the back seat over here, I'm going to go to that window over there. When you're busting the window, don't hit it in the middle. Hit it in the corner. It's going to break a lot easier if you just hit it in the corner. The whole thing's going to shatter into little tiny pieces and fall out, unlike the windshield, which is uh, sandwiched together between different materials so that it doesn't shatter on you. Busting a window is very, very easy. So again, furthest from the kid. Next thing, once you bust the window, don't climb through the window because there's glass little shards of glass and trust me I've got them stuck in the hair of my arm and later on I've gone to scratch my arm because it's itchy and then I realize I'm cutting myself with glass. You bust the window, you reach in, you unlock the door and you open the door, okay? You don't climb through broken glass. Now in that video from Texas yesterday, they didn't show someone climbing through the windshield but the last thing they did was they passed the kid through the broken windshield. You're passing a kid through, but someone got into the car, I'm assuming through the windshield, okay? So again, they busted the windshield. They couldn't unlock the car door because they were too far away. They had to climb in through there, and now they're passing the kid through the glass. You're inside the car. Open the door. Bring the kid out that way. So let's review. Don't break the windshield. Break a window furthest away from the kid. Break it down in the corner. You, you, you break the window anywhere, it's going to shatter into a million pieces, okay? It's designed to do that. It's not big shards. You hit here, the whole thing's going to shatter. And then you just, if it doesn't all fall out, you can just push it out. Don't climb through the broken glass. Reach in, unlock the door. Then take the kid out through a door, not through the broken glass. So I hope, this, I hope you never have to do any of this, but when I saw that video, I was just like, this is crazy. It was taking forever for the guy to break the windshield because windshields are hard to break because they're designed not to break, not to have glass hit you in the face when you're in an accident. And, and passing the kid through the broken glass when you're already in the car, I understand people are panicking and they're not thinking. That's why I'm telling you now so that if you're in this situation, you can stop and think, okay? Because it is in a hurry uh, when a kid is in a hot car. It doesn't take long for the kid to overheat. and and. Also be aware, like when you call a fire department, we, we will come as quick as we can. And again, if the kid's in distress, we don't, we don't mess around. We don't try to open the door. We just bust the window. So if we're coming and you think the kid's in distress, bust the window because we're going to do it anyway. Okay. Now, again, if the kid's in an air conditioned car, we're going to get there. And I have many, many times opened a car without busting a window. I'm not going to tell you how to do that because the kid's not in distress. So. I hope you learned something today. Don't go around busting windows and getting cut. Be safe and have a great day. Oh, I also forgot to mention the biggest thing done wrong in that video from Texas is the person filming it filmed it in vertical mode. Don't, don't ever do that. Hold the camera right.